Berlin, once the proud capital of the first united Germany a century ago, has stood for 50 years on the fault line that divided Europe in two. Now that the checkpoints and watchtowers are tourist attractions, the city is knitting itself back together. In fact, Berlin is in a building boom. It is to be Germany's capital again. As Western lifestyles travel east, more daring architectural ideas are moving east too. The opportunity is to apply new standards to building, in particular to building materials. And no more pressing is the issue of the chlorinated plastic, PVC. Vor drei Jahren neue Richtlinien geschaffen für den sogenannten sozialen Wohnungsbau, also für öffentlich geförderten Wohnungsbau und für die Modernisierung von Altbauten. Und im Rahmen dieser neuen Richtlinien sind erstmals besondere ökologische Anforderungen entstanden, bei denen auch Anforderungen an Baustoffe gestellt wurden. Und zwar in dem Sinne, dass bestimmte kritische Baustoffe nicht mehr verwendet werden dürfen. In diesem Rahmen taucht auch PVC auf. Reinhard Grossmann's refurbishment of this residential development known as P8 laid the ground rules for Berlin's current regulations on ecological building. There is no asbestos in the building, no tropical wood or CFCs. The heating system features solar panels. One of the reasons Grossmann made sure he used minimal PVC was because he had personal experience of its dangers. A friend of mine, who has a bureau, and in the cellar under him it was burned. Und da lagen die ganzen PVC-Kabel der Elektrizität eben offen. Und die Salzsäure, die da entsteht beim, im Brandfall, hat also das gesamte Büro verwüstet, sodass alle Computer und Telefone und alles, was es an elektronischen Geräten da gab, äh, neu angeschafft werden mussten. The danger of PVC in fires was discovered in the late 70s. In one tragedy, the now notorious Beverly Hills Supper Club fire 161 people died from hydrochloric acid fumes released by PVC. Smoldering PVC also releases dioxin, perhaps the most carcinogenic byproducts created by the chlorine industry. Here in Lengerich in Germany, special measures had to be taken after a release of dioxins following a fire in a PVC warehouse. In Berlin, the fire brigade answers a call. The most serious incident this evening is a typical fire in a basement cluttered with discarded possessions. These firefighters know that toxic fumes from PVC can be produced even before the fire has really taken hold. In fact, the greatest danger is when the fire is at its coolest. These men have been ordered to keep their breathing apparatus on for a full hour, even after the fire has been put out. Despite its hazards, PVC is cheap and with a wide range of applications. So, is the choice to replace it a luxury, available only to a select group of architects with rich and discerning clients? Was die Kosten betrifft, ist das sehr unterschiedlich zu sehen. In sehr vielen oder in den hauptsächlichen Gewerken sind die Kosten nahezu gleich, beispielsweise bei den Bodenbelegen oder bei den Tapeten an den Wänden. Die Kosten sind geringfügig höher bei Elektro- Kabeln. Nur muss man hier sagen, dass das Material, in dem in der Arbeit ein Haus mit Kabeln zu versehen, eine relativ geringe Rolle spielt. Sedina Budensee made just this point successfully with the local authorities in Berlin's Kreuzberg district. Her building is designed for a very discerning clientele. Um, this building is going to be a kindergarten. It was a former factory, a brewery, and a part of it was housing and what we tried to do is to to show this different levels old building new building and uh, also with the materials we we tried to um, make a connection to show the old materials like the brick and the wood and add new materials and have a contrast between cold and warm for the children as a surface This is the podium which is going to be covered uh, with linoleum. 
and down here we are going to have a wooden surface. Yeah, when we uh, think about uh, what, what material uh, we should choose, we always think also about um, a situation uh, like fire could come, and um, this is especially a problem of PVC. There are so many arguments about uh, or against plastic windows and for uh, wooden windows, for example. The plastic uh, industry always says you don't have to um, paint this window and you don't have to repair it. So my argument is you can paint it and you can repair it. And this is the main quality for wooden windows. Most of the vast building works planned for Berlin, here seen in brown, are commercial or federal government developments. The city's own building regulations do not, therefore, strictly apply. But ecological arguments are winning through. The Sony and Mercedes Corporation's developments on Berlin's famous Potsdamer Platz have incorporated the city's ecological requirements into their competition for the winning designs. Although Berlin has the toughest rules, about 80 cities and communities in Germany now have restrictions on the use of PVC. German politicians have become sufficiently concerned to commission their joint standing scientific committee, known as the Blau, to investigate the problems of PVC. Wichtige Ergebnisse dieser dieser Arbeitsgruppe waren erstens, dass man äh, also versuchen soll, zur Lösung von abfallwirtschaftlichen Fragestellungen äh, Stoffkreisläufe beim PVC zu schließen und einen Recycling auf sehr hohem Niveau durchzuführen. Das würde insbesondere auch die Emissionen, die heute noch äh, aus der Müllverbrennungsanlagen entstehen, minimieren. In allen den Bereichen, in denen ein solches Recycling auf hohem Niveau nicht möglich ist, sollte PVC durch entsprechende äh, Alternativen ersetzt werden. At the moment, the Blau recommendations to industry remain largely voluntary. Late in 1993, Germany's environment ministers will make them law. As for recycling, there is concern that at whatever level, recycling a toxic material like PVC releases even more poison into the environment. Meanwhile, Berlin is facing its first scandal over the new building rules. Caught just on the wrong side of the wall for 50 years was the original parliament building of Prussian Berlin. The United Cities delegates who moved in when the wall came down voted for the building to be refitted. But even as the job was being completed, it was discovered both tropical wood and PVC had been used. The building authorities reluctantly admit it may have to be torn out. But principal is it ist es eben so, dass wir bei öffentlichen Bauten inzwischen, also bei öffentlichen Bauten des Landes Berlin, bei denen Abweichungen von den Richtlinien festgestellt werden, inzwischen von einer baulichen Änderung auf Kosten der äh, dafür verantwortlichen Firmen ausgehen müssen. PVC is the largest single product of the global chlorine industry, known also by its common name vinyl. It is the second most common plastic in the world. There have always been serious questions over PVC's life cycle. In Europe, wastes from PVC production were burned at sea until international outcry over contamination of the marine environment stopped this practice. There is still no adequate solution to the disposal of PVC wastes. The main pollutants are toxins known as organochlorines. Organochlorines, produced only because of the chlorine industry, are the prime suspects in many environmental tragedies. In 1988, a viral epidemic killed 18,000 seals in the North Sea. The organochlorine PCB was widely implicated in the spread of the disease. The proven carcinogens, dioxins, ozone-destroying CFCs, and DDT, the chlorinated pesticide, are all organochlorines. Now, recent research into PVC production has revealed equally alarming facts. The same toxic organochlorines which are released when PVC wastes are burned are also emitted as PVC's raw materials are produced. Consequently, a growing number of pollution regulatory bodies are legislating to phase out discharges of these chemicals into the environment. Many organochlorines persist throughout the food chain. They settle in the fatty tissues of contaminated animals. Norwegian researchers studying these Arctic polar bears suggest their failure to reproduce is due to high levels of organochlorines present in their fatty diet of seals and fish. 
In Germany, mothers have been advised not to breastfeed their children beyond the sixth month. Tests on their breast milk revealed a level of organochlorine contamination which would not be tolerated in dairy milk. Organochlorines can be passed on to offspring through milk and the placenta, from generation to generation. A World Health Organization report claims that women in heavily industrialized Belgium have the highest level of dioxins in the world. Austria is another country where the use of PVC is under close scrutiny. Here in Vienna, the cost of waste disposal is rising every year. Vienna's architects refurbishing all buildings are thinking twice about specifying PVC products. The Entsorgungskosten from Vorjahr auf Heuer um circa 40 percent gestiegen. Man spricht davon, dass diese Steigerungsrate auch in der näheren Zukunft weiter anhalten wird. Es ist daher sicherlich problematisch, PVC zu verwenden, wenn man an die Entsorgungskosten denkt. Es kann durchaus der Fall sein, dass in gewissen Bereichen, wie zum Beispiel im Bereich der Böden, es naheliegend wird, PVC nicht zu verwenden, da unter Umständen die Entsorgungskosten addiert zu den billigen, unter Umständen billigeren Gestehungskosten so hoch werden, dass man gleich von vornherein ein anderes Produkt, wie zum Beispiel Linol oder Holz, verwenden kann. Developers like Jörg Whipple, whose job it is to watch closely all areas where costs might spiral out of control, agree that PVC waste disposal costs will eventually price it out of use. I glaube, dass in ganz kurzer Zeit, vielleicht drei oder fünf Jahre, bereits die Entsorgungskosten einen so wesentlichen Bestandteil machen, dass das ähm, Verwenden von PVC teurer wird. Wir beauftragen unsere Architekten damit, von den Umweltstandards her, so weitgehend wie möglich ähm, umweltschonende Materialien und vor allem kein PVC zu verwenden. PVC products exist for all stages of the building process, from drainage and plumbing systems, floor and wall coverings, to windows, damp proof courses, and electrical installation. Research by Vienna's Ecology Institute into PVC alternatives was prompted both by known hazards of the material and by rising disposal costs. They found alternatives exist in all cases. For drainage and plumbing systems, concrete, earthenware, and metal. For floor and wall coverings, wood, linoleum, and ceramic tiles. For windows, wood and metal, and draft excluders, rubber. For damp-proof courses and vapor barriers, other plastics, and bitumen substitutes. Other plastics could also be used for electrical installations. Researchers also took note that builders and architects were no longer specifying PVC because products like PVC floor coverings were not as durable or as easy to maintain as originally expected. Since Bielefeld, the town in western Germany that led the way in 1987, more than a hundred communities across Europe have brought in restrictions on PVC. In the United States, a small but growing group of architects like Paul Biermann Lytle are already working with PVC alternatives. As he explains, U.S. architects should not be so easily attracted by PVC's price tag. Clearly one of the reasons why PVC is used so frequently is because it's cheap and it's readily available to the builder at the lumber yards. The architect can clearly specify and know that it's going to be uh, affordable, it has a track record of performance and so forth. But what they don't know is that there are many alternatives to PVC products which are readily available and are beautiful, are durable, have a long track record. In fact, many of them have been around prior to PVC's entrance to the marketplace. In Lytle's view, the pressure not to use PVC in the U.S. will not come directly from new building regulations, but from lawsuits. We've served as uh, expert witness in a number of legal cases, primarily dealing with uh, the occupant becoming uh, what we call multiple chemical sensitive, where their immune system has broken down to a point where they can no longer tolerate the indoor air quality of their home or their workspace. And uh, many of these problems have been sourced to uh, PVC or vinyl within the home, whether it's the vinyl flooring or carpeting or paints. Wir wollen nicht noch einmal so etwas wie äh, Asbest oder wie Formaldehyd oder wie PCB und so weiter. Wir wollen nicht noch einmal eine Situation schaffen, in der wir nachher zu äh, Erkenntnissen oder Schäden kommen, die wir vorher so nicht einschätzen können.